let's start with a little clarification about what we mean by IT as a service. A lot of people use the term IT as a service as a replacement for the term cloud, which is a shared pool of configurable computing resources, things like networks, servers, applications, and storage, that are provided in a virtualized environment and made accessible via a public connection, usually the internet. However, cloud and IT as a service aren't exactly the same thing. When we say IT as a service, we're not talking about what the cloud is, we're talking about what the cloud does and how we use it. So what does cloud do? Cloud provides a vast array of technological functionality to users and organizations via the internet as a service that you use rather than as a technology or tool that you might buy outright. In other words, cloud provides IT as a service. During these times of tightening budgets, IT organizations must adapt and change to how they provide IT services to their customers. You know, it's important for the government IT organizations to move to an IT as a service model as it allows them to consolidate and more effectively utilize their resources, control costs, and align those costs with consumers of the resources, and also provide the IT organization the ability to easily adapt to and deliver ever-changing user requirements. Adapting the IT as a service model will give the IT organization the ability to deliver the services that their customers are requesting in a seamless and automated fashion. The bottom line is that IT as a service will provide the consumers of these IT services a much better user experience, thus making them a more productive workforce in a cheaper and more effective manner. Now, let's dive a little deeper. IT as a service is actually a blanket term that covers three different cloud delivery models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Across all three of these models, there are some common characteristics by virtue of the fact that they are all cloud-based. For instance, every cloud service is scalable, meaning that as your demands for more space, users, or anything else grows, your cloud service can easily grow too. They're also agile, because they can be altered to fit new needs without the heavy maintenance or updating costs of local hardware changes. They are all cost effective. Because your organization will have minimal maintenance costs and more importantly, pay only for the services that you actually use. And finally, cloud services are efficient because cloud offers high capacity, high performance environments without a lot of the burden of traditional local IT systems and they can be accessed from multiple locations. However, Despite these similarities, the three cloud service models have a few significant differences, including level of functionality, investment, responsibility, and control for the user organization. Before you purchase a cloud service, it's important to understand the unique characteristics of each model and how to apply them to your procurement decision. In the next three lessons, we'll take a look at those differences and explain how to use those distinctions to make the right cloud service choice for your agency.